Hi everyone and welcome back to this second video of Rheology. And as you can see that uh, we are going to talk about this gentleman who is a British physicist of 19th century, Thomas Ian. And he contributed a lot, not only to the physics and we adopted that knowledge uh, in pharmaceutical sciences to develop our various dosage forms or to understand material in order to develop various dosage forms. So one contribution is of course Young's modulus, another one is in interfacial phenomenon where we are calculating work of addition uh, using Young Dupree equation and that's really great story. Anyway, let's talk about more about Young's modulus in this video. Now we know that there are two types of stresses. One is a normal stress and another one is a shear stress. So normal stress, you are applying force in 90 degrees to the face. In case of shear stress, you are applying forces in parallel direction. And one is using in tableting, one normal stress or normal stress has been used in the tableting while shear stress we are using in rheology and I will promise you now it will I will explain you that in very next video or video number three of this rheology. So we know that about shear stress now there is a shear strain also and normal strain. So this is a shear strain and this is a normal strain and what is a strain? deformation as a function of original shape. So in case of normal strain what will happen? Well we are applying forces in perpendicular direction and we will get a deflection or deformation in that direction only. So delta L1 over L0 that is a normal strain. Similarly in case of shear strain we are applying forces in parallel direction, isn't it? And then we are getting the deformation in x direction only. So that is let's say this is the original height h and then that is a delta x. So delta x over h is a shear strain and this is a normal strain. We are using that in tableting and one is using in rewatch. So what is Young's moduli? It is a ratio of stress over strain. So now when we are, what is a normal modulus? Well, it is a ratio of normal stress over normal strain. So we know that normal stress is force per unit area and normal strain is delta L over L or here we can say L0 just to make a continuation from last slide and the ratio of that is called as Young's moduli and where we are using this one well again we are using in tableting and shear modulus shear stress over shear strain so Young's modulus is force over area shear, force per unit area divided by delta x over h so what is the implication of that? When material is having high Young's moduli, it means that the material is stronger. So let's assume that sponge and steel. So if you apply force on sponge, it will have more deformation. But in case of steel, it will have extremely less deformation. So steel is certainly stronger than sponge. And where are we applying this one? Well, in case of tableting, specifically this normal moduli, when we have very strong material just like steel, for example, we are not making steel tablets, but believe me, there are certain materials, they are extremely, extremely strong and they are difficult to compress because they don't have much more potential to get compressed as they are very hard material. Like one of the material is metformin hydrochloride and one of my PhD student has done work on that one. So in that case, your life will be difficult as a formulation or pre-formulation scientist. Uh, in case of high shear moduli, well, that material will be difficult to flow, isn't it? And we will see that more 
a next couple of videos so i hope you enjoyed this very short video about young's moduli and thanks for watching and hopefully see you in next video again thank you